The managing director of the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, Usman Mohammed, has been removed from office. The Minister of Power, Salim Aman, who ordered Mr. Mohammed's removal on Tuesday, said a decision takes immediate effect. The spokesperson to the minister, Aaron Atima, said the removal of Mr. Mohammed was part of the continuing measures to reposition and improve the performance of the power sector in the country. Joining us live by telephone is Kayode Ekundayo, Executive Editor, Energy Times. A pleasure to have you on the news this morning. Good morning. Good morning. The TCN has been in the news lately for making several allegations of fraud and leadership uh, crisis. What is your thought on this latest move? Okay, uh, honestly, when I got to know about this yesterday's news, what came to my mind was uh, the issue that has been on in the power sector since past uh, few weeks. TCN uh, MB has imposed himself in the power sector as the untouchable. He intervened in the sector anyhow. If you remember, just a few days ago, the, the, the MD had the uh, articulation with, uh, with the, some of the discourse over the issue of uh, not uh, investment in the power sector. And he has been the one in the forefront of uh, the capitalization of the discourse. And he made noise at any point in time to draw the attention of the federal government to the need to the recapitalization of the sector. Whereas, even the, the TCN itself is having its own challenges, which the MD is supposed to solve quietly. And all the while, what we have been, it's like whatever is saying, it's just bringing the start development in the sector to, 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 to the consumers who are already wounded in terms of getting the stable power supply. We all know what is happening in the, in the power sector, that the system is not, is not be in a place where we expected it to be since the privatization in 2013. So the, 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 the what happened in the last in the last few days must have contributed to insert. Okay. Whereas it, it, it's, it's supposed to be an intermediary between the disco, the Genko, which we all know that transmission line is supposed to be the link between the Genko and the disco. And whatever happened in the power sector have a lot to do with whatever the DCN does. Okay. But he always exonerates himself whatever there is a new challenge in All the right. sector. Let, let, let's, you've given us an idea what's playing out, but now that there is a new uh, managing director in place, what yes. are your expectations from him? What do you expect him to do yeah, differently? My, my, my expectation is that the, uh, uh, the new management have to undo the situation professionally. Where the, the new MD should not be talking all the time and making noise about what is not right in this sector. Whereas, where, where it, it, should, it should be a way, or there should be a way to solve the problem without making noise about it. A lot of money has been sent, spent by the federal government in the last five years. For instance, within the last five years, the federal government has spent over a trillion naira to make sure they bail out the sector. Yet, we are still not getting to where we're supposed to be. So I will advise the, the new management to carry out their its responsibility the way it's supposed to be, professionally, and allow dialogue to be in what works instead of allowing self centralized uh, self center to be in its own priority and 
because that is what affected the, the SAC management. All right, in the interest so, of time, let's, let's, let's take a look at uh, some of the issues uh, with the uh, power sector um, away from yeah. the controversy with uh, the um, leadership. A month ago, yeah. uh, the group managing director yeah. of the NNPC uh, said that the federal government had made payment of over 200 billion naira to the power sector yeah. towards improving yeah. electricity supply in the country. So much money yeah. has been appropriated towards that. We are yet to see any visible impact. What would you say, yes. perhaps, are some of the challenges? Okay, what happened? The, the 200 billion which the NNPC said have been appropriated to the sector was actually meant to support the Genkos. That, that is electricity generation companies to ensure that they have constant uh, gas from the gas supplier. Let me tell you something. Maybe you, uh, we don't know this. The Jenkos have already signed a deal with the gas suppliers that they have to pay and take gas. It's cash and carry. Because even the gas supplier didn't get it on, on platter of gold from the producers. So they have to pay ahead. And when the federal government is seeing that the situation is getting worse, NNPC, which, is, which has almost 60% or 55.5% in some of these crude oil producing uh, companies, have to come in to bail out the Denkos to pay that money so that they can get access to gas supplier, I mean, supplies. So that is the money they pay. They have not bailed out the discourse. The money they pay was not meant for the discourse. Okay. So I think we should get it clear. Right. And that is the reason why we are getting the level of power we have today. Because the Jenkos are having stable power, I mean, gas supply from the suppliers. Okay. Now, when we now look into the general uh, power distribution, that's another ball game. All right. Um, let's Hello. take. Um, I'm, I'm, we're, you're still with us. We can hear you. Uh, let's take a look. Yes. Um, rather, let's uh, pick your brains on the issue of estimated billions. Nigerians have continued okay. to complain about this, but it doesn't seem to be going away. Do you think that there will be a time when estimated billion will no longer be a part of the electricity billing method in this country? Yes, there will be a time when we have, everybody will have, uh, 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 that's a prepayment meter. And that is what we are praying that it should happen quickly. And that was the reason why the federal government, through NEC, endorsed the map, which they are going to be an intermediary between the disco and the, and the general public. But unfortunately, we couldn't get to that level quickly because of the forex. That's foreign exchange. And some other logistics at the port. The, I mean, let me tell you this. When the federal government approved MAP, the exchange rate at that time was minimal. But all of a sudden, things went up. And as a result of that, those who are importing some of these materials could not do so. And I think they've already gone to the National Assembly and even appealed to the Central Bank of Nigeria through, through the min, uh, Ministry of Finance to get a waiver so that they can have access to materials they, they are going to use to produce some of these uh, meters at home. But I believe that by 2021-2022, factually all the consumers, that's electricity consumer, will get metered. Okay. Um, because of the rate we are going. All right. Uh, let's look at the uh, Senate's demand for the immediate reversal of uh, power privatization. What's your position on this? Okay. Do you agree with them? It, it's going to be a tough decision. Uh, it's beyond making pronouncement at the assembly. A lot of investment have gone into this in both the federal government and the state and the private sector. 
So it will be very, very difficult to now revert something that has been wrong for the last five years. Honestly, the discos have not done well, definitely. But the Genko, on their own, investment have gone into it seriously. I could know, I know, for instance, at the power station, the, the plant, the unit has been expanded. That's a lot of investment. And likewise, some of the generation companies around, investment has gone into their expansion. So if they want to reverse the privatization, so it means that federal government have to pay back all these investments that have been put into the sector. So it's going to be it's not something we can just sit down and say we want to reverse. And if you remember, uh, the Minister of, of Power, uh, about, about two years ago, that was uh, Barista Fasola, Robert Tindu Fasola, he did say that it's not that the federal government cannot reverse the privatization, but it's not something it can be done on the platter of gold. Besides the fact that the federal government is going to pay back, we pay back certain amount of money to this investor, what signal are we sending to the world? Because we, a lot of privatization will still take place. So if we reverse a major privatization like this, what signal are we sending to the world for future privatization? So it, it's not something we can be saying. It's not something the assembly can just sit down and say they are debating and they are voting for. Exactly. More it's, needs it's to be done, actually. a lot actually. of fears. All right, Kayade, I'm afraid that's all time will permit us on um, this segment. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.